I've struggled with keeping this room clean and organized for almost four years. It took a pandemic for me to deal with the fact that I need to get rid of the excess and let go of 90% of the things in this room to manage the overwhelming feeling that I get from seeing the physical clutter. Here's a very shortened version of how I did it, but the reality of this is that this process took me several months of constant evaluation and giving myself the permission to let go of the stuff. Here's how it went. It's gotten a little bit more manageable now just because um, I haven't been getting a lot of PR mail which is kind of a relief. Just have no idea what I'm gonna do with all the stuff that I'm receiving. Not that I'm being um, ungrateful or anything. You guys know that I'm thankful that I'm even getting this but it's just a lot for one person. Most of the stuff that I have now that I'm just keeping they're probably expired. I want to just get rid of them. So anything else that I'm not going to use, I'm going to donate, give away to friends who want it. But I kind of feel bad because I feel like I've been kind of offloading a lot of stuff to them. It's day 21 of the quarantine and I actually haven't really finished decluttering. Um, I'm still working on it. I kind of got hung up yesterday on some of the products that I can't seem to let go. I just need to throw it away and the reason why I'm not gonna give it away either is because I've kind of had it for about two and a half years and I was looking online that the shelf life of an open products uh, is normally around one to three years from the manufacturing date. I have an Excel spreadsheet where I keep track of the stuff that are coming in that are getting sent to me. I have the dates on when I received it. This is just me being a little bit OCD. I found two websites that translate the batch code into dates based on like the manufacturing's way of coding them. So for example, this lipstick, that's the batch code right there. The this number. Here are two of the cosmetic databases that I use to check for the manufacturing dates based on the lot number to determine the shelf life of my unopened products. These websites will also be linked in the description box down below. And some of these brands are not listed on either of the websites and sometimes I would have to toggle between the two if one doesn't have it. After checking multiple products, I was able to figure out what year the manufacturing date of a product is based on the brand's lot number formatting. Another check that I have done on how close the result of the manufacturing dates are is based on the year when I had received the product. Since I do have an idea, an Excel spreadsheet of my PR inventory, I was able to cross check it. I realized that this is time consuming and I've created a necessary work for me but it's part of my process of feeling a little bit better about letting go of the excess. I'm not a chemist or a scientist, but I do have a threshold on how old something can be for me to consume or use it. I just want to share this verification tool since most products don't have expiration dates. I just don't feel comfortable giving out things that have been sitting here for like two and a half years. When I'm giving things out to my friends, I make sure that I haven't had um, those items for so long. A lot of you are probably gonna get upset over this because a lot of these things that I've received before are like expensive makeup products and they're just kind of going into trash but this is also kind of like a learning lesson for me to use whatever I have and not to save it for like a special day because maybe that special day will not come and then I end would just end up tossing these things instead of like someone actually enjoying them or me like enjoying them. A hard lesson learned. I'm just gonna like throw these away. <laughs> Maybe I'll save one for decoration, but I'm like, why am I gonna, I, I don't know. I don't even think there's a point in saving these for decorations. I mean, they are pretty, but it's like, it's just gonna sit here collecting dust and I'm not really about that having a collection life See, I'm sorry for in advance to anyone who I am offending and I don't even want to donate this to 
um, charity because it's not fair either. If I'm not going to use these products because of the condition that they're in, I shouldn't be giving them out either to other people. I decided to take out all of the stuff in this drawer just so I can easily go through them. Um, I was kind of going through them by drawers and I felt like that was taking me longer. So at least this way I can see what I think I need or what I want to keep. first makeup palette and I think it's time for me to toss this because it's old <laughs> I'm taking out the makeup products that I'm going to trash out of their packaging so at least I can recycle the paper boxes and the plastic containers but these I'm just gonna throw in the trash because there's really nothing I can do about it Oh, this is so wasteful. But, I mean, I can't use them. I don't want to give them away because they're the... It's past their shelf life. I just didn't do a good job of going through my inventory to make sure they're still okay. Now I'm just... They're just... They're going to the trash. <laughs> this is so hard. I'm sorry. I know some people are probably getting mad at me because I'm throwing makeup away. But you guys, I, I don't want to put this on my face or I don't want to even give it away to anyone. Their makeup products have these batch code numbers and I actually found a website where I'm so sorry if my hands are so dry it's like I've been washing them a lot but anyway so they have um, these batch code numbers on the product sometimes they're on the box sometimes they're at, they're on the actual product so for example this Laura Mercier lip pencil um, you can see how there is a six digit number right so I looked it up on the batch code database. Um, they're listed in some of them. The number in front of their batch codes is usually the year that these things were manufactured. See, it's like it starts with the five. So it's already 2020. This is technically five years old from um, the year it was manufactured. So when you put this number, it'll actually tell you um, the month, sometimes the day. This one expired um, October, but yeah, so I just need to throw this out. I didn't even get to try them because I was just kind of hoarding it. I was talking about where I have the batch numbers for the makeup products that I've received. So I'm just gonna copy this into this cosmetic calculator and it'll tell me when it was manufactured so it says here december 2017 i try not to keep anything over two years like i don't even want to donate it i just throw it away because it's liquid and i just kind of feel like the the chemicals in there are probably more unstable compared to powder I haven't even gotten to the skincare part I mainly just emptied my makeup drawers which is basically this my my Alex 9 drawer and this is empty now so I'm pretty happy with that there's like nothing in here anymore that kind of makes me happy because there isn't a reason for me to even have this drawer because realistically I'm not using all of my makeup these are the makeup that I'm going to keep actually I'm still probably gonna go through them one more time a lot of the lip products that I have were um, either past their shelf life or I'm just gonna donate 
because they're not my color i'm going to give away to some friends just having these sets of drawers for me will minimize you know the the amount of makeup that i'm hoarding because realistically like i'm not going to be able to get through this in my lifetime these are my trash bags right there this is really full this one is like full of all of my high-end makeup that i've received these are expired so I can't do anything about that. It's just bye. These are the packaging that um, they were in. I took them all out so I can at least recycle these uh, paper stuff, the boxes. And then you guys know I'm all about breaking down boxes and then recycling them. And the crunchy paper, I just put them in one bag. I'm so happy. I finally cleared it out now I just need to like take this all down because I don't want I just kind of don't want them lingering anymore next weekend what I'm gonna do is go through my skincare products because I'm pretty sure I do have some stuff that are expired that needs to go these basically the section right here now are all just like skincare and in this uh, woven basket I have most of my new ones that I just stuffed in there that I don't know what to do yet so that would be for next weekend I've had this for I would say at least three years now this is where I'm gonna be putting my empties <laughs> and which is good because I actually have a lot although I don't know if I'm gonna be filling this box up this is currently their environmental initiative where you'll collect your beauty empties and they will recycle it for you this is ridiculous. I need to I just need to get rid of it. And actually, I have another one right there that are all empties. Why am I collecting trash? letting my trash go after all these months and I kind of have sorted them in different bags old beauty products and makeup products that I like I, I'm not gonna use and old nail polishes right here this is all going to the safe center and I'm gonna do a drop off today I feel like I still have a lot of stuff so you know what baby steps I'm doing what I can and at least I'm finally getting this out of my house. Loaded the trash in my trunk. <sighs> that was heavy. This whole decluttering process taught me how to hone in and letting attachments and guilt go in order to make space for what really matters to me. Even though I have been practicing minimalism for a few years now, I still had clutter that I have accumulated over a span of several years that needed to be taken care of. I had to show myself compassion that this was not going to disappear overnight or even a weekend. But being at home has allowed me to take the time to work on areas of my life and I had made the decision to clear up my physical space first. Surprisingly, after dealing with my clutter, it freed me up physically and mentally. It was really life-changing. 